Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today I am coming to you to share a hem hack. I want to do a cross hem hack. I saw this hack over at the Ellie and Mac blog. Um, this was a blog made by Lakeisha and it was fantastic so I wanted to recreate it on my own and um, we're gonna do it together. <laughs> All right, so um, I am super excited about this. Like I said, this blog, this blog, this hack came from the blog. If you have not checked the alienmac.com, the website, their blogs, you need to go on there because there are so many hacks and tricks and all kinds of tips over there at the blog. So go check them out. I love it. And I get so much inspiration from it. So make sure you check it out. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'm reminding you to do so right now so you never miss all the hacks that I show you how to do here on this channel. All right, so the first things, first things first, the first things first. First things first, I am going to be using the oversized tee pattern. Um, Lakeisha used the fall in love sweater and she sized up a couple of times because she wanted it to be a loose sweater. Um, the the uh, fall in love sweater has more of a straight, I got a hair in my face. Oh, well, I've got lots of hairs in my face, but I've got one in my eye. Um, it, it's got more of a straight fit. This one's a little bit baggier, so I'm going to go with that. Um, I love her fit, so I might have to do this too at Fall in Love as well. But I'm using, today I'm using the oversized tee. I'm going to use the boat neck. Doesn't matter to this whole situation, but I just wanted you to know for future reference if you were wondering. I'm going to, um, I usually love using the regular length, but I'm going to go with um, a little bit longer. Um, let me see, usually I use the regular length, yes, but I might go for a tunic length this time, so it's a little bit longer so that the band goes down a little bit longer, so I'm gonna go all the way to the tunic length on the oversized tee. The first thing I'm going to do is, I need to make this pattern to be, because it is printed, it is made to be cut on the fold, and we want to use the whole pattern um, so that we can kind of measure out our band, how our, our shirt is gonna lay sideways, uh, be cut. Um, so I'm going to grab a piece of paper and I'm just going to, you can trace out this pattern. And honestly, I'm like, I was trying to look for a piece of paper and I could not find one big enough. I ran out of, I had white paper at some point and I ran out of it. So I've got this brown paper. I think it's going to work just fine. And I'm just going to trace out my shirt. Oh, perfect. I'm going to trace out my shirt. And so basically it will be like a mirrored image. So it'll be like two pieces and it'll be one big piece at the end when I put it together. Because the oversized tee has the different necklines, I wanna make sure that I cut the one that I want to do, uh, the neckline that I'm planning on using because this is gonna be your fr the front of your shirt, not the back. The back will stay the same. It's the front is what's gonna change. I'm gonna fix the hem of the front, not the back. So I wanna make sure that I have the same neckline that I'm gonna use on both sides. Listen, y'all, I cut every corner I can. I did not even draw it on there. I'm just cutting it. I'm just going for it. Like if it was fabric, I would just cut it. All right, so now when we open it, I'm gonna... Now if we tape these two together, right here, it'll become one big pattern. Okay, just remember that your neckline, you're gonna cut it out like it's supposed to be. This is my boat neckline. All right, the first thing we gotta figure out is how high you want your hem to come. So like, because we're gonna do a crossover, how high do you want that first part to be? And on her tutorial, she did 3.5, which I thought was great, so I'm just gonna go with that. I know the length of our tops are not the same, but I'm just gonna go with it and see what it looks like because I think hers turned out amazing. So we're gonna mark our pattern at where that 3.5 is, and then we're gonna grab a ruler. I should have had it handy. I already knew I was gonna do the steps. I don't know why I didn't take it out. We're gonna grab our ruler, a big one, and we're gonna go from that 3.5 over here all the way down to the corner, the bottom corner at the other edge. And we're going to draw a line. Oop. Now, honestly, I am going to do, you know what? I'm gonna do it the other way. 
You know why? Do you know why? I, I usually don't think about these types. I guess it. I guess I'm gonna have to cut anyways of the pattern because I didn't want to cut out my pattern. Maybe I'll just fold it up so that way I don't cut my pattern off. I know you could do a whole totally new pattern with both pieces of paper so that way you don't care if you cut it off but you know I, I just go I just go for things anyway so now what we're going to do is we are actually going to cut this bottom off or you know like I said I'm just gonna fold it up all the way and we're going to cut two front bodice pieces so you have two front bodices um, and then at the end you'll end up do using the two front bodices as one bodice now if you don't want to have two front bodices there's other ways of doing this hem hack but i'm not going through all that explanation on this video this is just an easy way to do this um, if you want to do the just one front and the bottom to be the same i would cut one in this shape and then I would cut um, another piece starting probably like at the middle, not the middle, but like right above where it ends. And I would cut the other piece the other way. That way you can place that on top of each other. And when I sew the one band, because we're going to make a band to cross hem, then I would attach it to that other piece. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but let me go ahead and show you how to do this. And then at the end, I can give you a better explanation about the whole situation but I'm just going with the blog so I'm gonna do exactly how she did it I have a uh, modal fabric which is not super heavy so I'm good with that but if you're using a sweater fabric um, and you think it's gonna be a little bit too hot then you might want to do that other option okay so now once I cut that I'm gonna cut that and then what I'm going to do is after I cut this I'm going to measure well I could do it now I guess I'm gonna measure how wide it is from that end all the way up to the other end and on mine is 24 and I'm going to add a half an inch so a quarter inch seam allowance on each side I'm gonna cut a band that is 24 and a half inches by and this is where you figure out how wide how tall you want your own band and then you obviously if you want it three inches tall you're gonna double it so it'll be six inches because you're gonna fold it and attach it so it would be 24 and a half by six inches is what you would cut it. Or if your pattern like this oversized tee has a hem band, I'm trying to see if, yeah, it has a hem band already. So you could measure, you could use your hem band and this one, um, it's, let me see. It's actually five and a half, almost six inches wide already. So this will be cut. So it is three inches. So I was right. So just three and a half, but, and then the back band, you're just going to cut the same length of the back. So like you could use your band if it's the, if it's a band of, if you sure has a band or you could just hem it, uh, whatever it is that you want to do. I'm just going to cut the band on the back the same width of my shirt. So like this shirt is, 24 so you could just cut the band at the same width plus the seam allowance so it'll just kind of hang there or um, usually a hem a band if you wanted to kind of blouse a little bit and bring it in like that crop band it kind of brings it in you can take out a little bit but I don't want it to pull it in I want it to just be straight the same hem so that's why I'm doing it I'm not using that band I only reason I grabbed that band is to see the height of it that was it I'm using the width of my shirt I just want it to be a hem I don't want it to blouse in I want it to lay straight down I hope that makes sense so that's why I'm not using that band so I'm going to do 24 and a half by six and I'm going to do three of three of them because I want one going this way, one going this way because we're going to go across hem and then the back one. So let me go ahead and cut all this out and, the, and cut out the rest of my, uh, of my shirt and then we'll come back and finish all that out. All right, now once everything's been cut out and honestly I thought I was not going to have enough fabric but I had just enough fabric which was amazing. I did not plan for how much fabric I needed. I'm not the best at doing that. I always buy fabric and then end up figuring it out later. Okay, so I've got now my bottom of my tops and I've got my bands right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my bands and I'm going to fold them right sides together. And then I'm, first thing I'm gonna do at that raw edge, right sides together at that raw edge right there, 
and I'm just gonna do one at a time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it again in half and find where my half of that band is. So it's right there. And I'm gonna do the same for my top bottoms, the bottom of my top, my front tops. Now remember, both tops, and actually you're gonna do this to all three, really, um, except for, you know, these are gonna be um, uh, kind of crossed, but the actual, the back is going to be straight. So basically you're gonna do it to both, but one's gonna be cropped and one, one's gonna be straight and one and two are gonna be um, sideways, basically. <laughs> Okay, so then I'm just putting them on top of each other so I can just piggyback on that half point right there. Basically, you're just going to put it right on top, right sides together, all the way, and you're going to sew it on. Now listen, um, when you sew it on, you're going to sew it both to the right sides of your top. So remember when you cut this, you cut two mirrored. So this is my, I'm sewing this one to the right side of this. I'm going to move that aside. And then on the right side of this one, because that was mirrored, I'm going to put the other band. And then I'm going to do the same for the back. Okay, and then I'm going to go sew that band on on both of those and the back as well. Sorry, I forgot to do the back, but I gotta do the back as well. While we're at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the back. Let's go saw that. Now that my bands are all sewn, I wanna go ahead and give them a good press. Um, if you wanna top stitch that seam, you more than welcome to do that. Um, top stitch it so it can lay nice and flat and pretty um i'm not sometimes i like to top stitch sometimes i'm just gonna go for it because if it's a fancier the type of top i don't love seeing all the top stitching on it but sometimes i do so it really is up to you what you want to do but a good steam goes a long way all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of our pieces or one of our front pieces and then we're gonna grab the other front piece and we're gonna lay it, we're gonna lay them both flat out. So this one is face up on my mat, and then I'm gonna lay the other one face up right on top of it. And as you do that, you will see that you have one side. Well, everything should match up, your armpits, your neck, your neck area, everything. And one side down here, one should be poking out one side and the other one should be going down the other side. Let me turn it so you can see it better. Like that. See how it crosses over so it's a crossed hem? Okay, this is where I was trying to tell you if you do not want uh, the double layer, which I was good with a double layer, so I have no issue. Um, but if you don't want the la double layer, what you would have done is you would have cut the bottom piece out like this. So like the opposite, going up this way, your bottom piece, and just the bottom part, okay? Cut it out this way. So you only really have a little piece of fabric right here. This is all you're gonna have, just like this little piece right here, okay? And I would go all the way over till it meets right here. So almost like a piece, like a band right here. And so what you do is you, when you sew this together, when you sew the band from the top, you would sew it straight to that piece. So it would be like having a piece this way. So you would cut like a triangle piece right here and then you would attach the band to it like a triangle and then when you attach this band you would place it right on top of this little chunk this little wedge and sew it right all of them together and then you would fold it down and then you would just have that piece right there now that's a little bit more complicated so I didn't have, I like the double layer. A lot of times I will wear like an undershirt with my top and stuff like that. So, and this is a thinner fabric. So I was just fine with that. But that's just an option if that's what you wanted to do. 
So now we are basically done with this hack because what happens now is we can go ahead and baste this two together. Now this piece of band is gonna be above the, the other band on one side, but we wanna baste them together at the side and then we're just gonna treat this whole thing as your outer piece. So then we will construct, we're gonna construct our shirt exactly the same way that you would. So if you wanna know how to do that, you can go ahead and check out our video tutorial on how to sew up the oversized tee. Now remember, you can do this hack to any pattern. So if the fall in love top, you can do it with any top that has a regular hem at the bottom, you can do this too. Um, and it would work the same way. Um, but, so now you would just treat it. And on the other side, as you see, this hem goes up. So it's on top. The other one is down on the bottom and then this one is on top, but you're still matching up those sides all the way down and they just kind of meet right here at the edge. And then um, you wanna make sure, you, you could go ahead and baste these two together. Baste them together right here when you sew it. So when you go to sew it to the, to the to the back, then you don't miss it. Or if you're like me and you just clip, then you know you can just clip. So now we've got this is gonna be our front piece. As you can see, the hem. Now it's kind of hard to see. I hope you can see it in video. You can see the lines going back and forth on there across. I think this is gonna be adorable. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up sewing my shirt just like I would. Like I said, here's my back. It's got the hem, regular hem. So I'll just line up this hem at the bottom with the raw edge of the hem. And then what we'll have to do is I'll come back and show you what we'll have to do is we'll just have to tuck in that tail uh, when we're done. And we also have a video showing how to do that as well. So now I'm gonna go and sew, finish sewing my shirt right sides together like it's like normally you would. Remember that you're using two layers at the front. So when you're doing that, Y'all, we are done. How adorable. I think this is gonna be super, super cute. The only thing we have left to do is we have this little tail right here. And all I do with that is I just, I like to just tuck it right back into that seam allowance right there. And I just top stitch it there. Do a zigzag stitch right there with my sewing machine real quickly. But there's all different ways to solve that. And um, we do have a video on our YouTube channel for that if you wanna go check that out. But that's it. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna try it on and come back and show you what it fits like. I'm so excited. Friends, how cute did this turn out? I love it. And here comes Bo. I hope he doesn't come all the way over here because it's gonna come and every time he hears me talking to you all, he feels like he wants to say hello too. Look at that stretchy stretch. How cute is that? But I know you all wanna say hello to him too. So let's say hi, Bo. Well, his name is Bo, but sometimes we call him Boo, we call him Boulevard, we call him all kinds of things. So here he is saying hello. But you gotta go over there because I gotta show them my shirt, okay? Oh, oh my goodness, but you're so sweet. Okay, if you stand right there and they can still see, then you can stay there. They can't see. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I made the oversized tee, as I already mentioned, long sleeve, cuff, boat band, boat neck band, and I, instead of doing the um, regular length, so if you wanted it shorter, you could do the regular length. I went with the tunic length because I wanted it to be like an oversized thing that I could wear with leggings or, or jeans or whatever I wanted to. And it would be like an oversized um, sweater. I love it. And here is my hem. See how it like comes over. I think it looks super adorable. I think this would be really cute too if you did like a puka bee, puka bee, peekaboo. 
Pool could be. A peekaboo hem with a different color or something like that would be super cute as well. Um, if you like change the bands to a different color, that would really be all you have to do. You could use the same fabric and just do the bands a different color because that's all you see. I think it's adorable. I hope you enjoy this. I'm talking too fast and now you can't understand what I'm saying because I'm tangling over my words. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it, it you, I hope you can see how easy it is to just hack these patterns and do what you love. So if you haven't yet, get out there and do it because I want to see it. Come to our Facebook page and share it with us because we want to see what you're making. You can tag me on there so I can go and see that you made that hack. But other than that too, I also want you to go check out, we have a whole section of videos on our YouTube channel, um, a whole playlist of hacks. So it's all dedicated to hacks that we do for Ellie and Mac patterns. So you can make them however you want to. But we also have our blog on our elianmac.com website. Check out the blogs. There are some awesome blogs on there that you're just going to love. Um, and you can just follow those blogs. Or you can go back on here and say, hey, Diana, can you please do this blog, th this hack? Because I can't get it. I need you to show it to me. I got you. I'll come do it on here too. I love hacking patterns. I've got some other ones in mind. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please come and like, share, subscribe if you haven't so you never miss any of our videos. Um, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.